后边风景不错。Venerable Master Jing Kong was named Ye Hong Xu. He was born in the year of 1927 in Anhui province of China. And when he was young, he had a strong passion for learning, studying various kinds of books, including literature, politics, economics, religions, astronomy, and so on. And ever since he was a teenager, he has been deeply concerned about world peace and the welfare of all humankind and eager to promote them. Due to the occurrence of World War II, his studies at school had to be interrupted. And although this experience caused much pain for him, his enthusiasm for learning and knowledge was not discouraged. In his pursuit of good mentors, he encountered three. The famous philosopher, Professor Dong Mei Fong, Living Buddha, Master Dong Jia, and the Buddhism scholar, Mr. Bid Nan Li. And under the guidance of these three eminent teachers, he earnestly studied classics, history, philosophy, Buddhism, successively for 13 years in total. Nothing can bring greater enjoyments to life than Buddhism. These words, spoken by the respectful contemporary scholar Professor Fong, changed the young master's life, who at one point believed Buddhism was nothing more than a superstition. With his endeavor study, he later became well-versed in many different fields of Buddhism, later extending his study to Confucianism, Taoism, Catholicism, Islam, and other religions. And yet among those studies, his main interest was in Pure Land Buddhism. In 1959, the young master officially ordained a Buddhist monk and started his mission to teach Buddhism. And it has been more than 40 years now, and his devotion to propagate Buddhism was never a moment ceased. In the following short program, we will present you with the works of Master Jing Kong on promoting universal love and compassion and uniting different religions, races, and cultures together as one family. His only wish is to resolve conflicts and differences among diverse groups and to achieve everlasting peace and harmony.
Master Jin Kong strongly emphasized that every religion is an education taught by the sage that teaches people about indiscriminate love and compassion. Buddhism is an education taught by the Buddha to all living beings. It is the ultimate multicultural social education that teaches us how to live in harmony with many diverse groups of living beings. Through his extensive travel, Master Jin Kong came to a conclusion that the educational essence of all religions was forgotten, as people mistakenly took rituals as practice rather than the teachings. In order to help people see this mistake, he began to lecture vigorously around the world. Having exceeding more than 10,000 hours of lectures and being close to 80 years old, Master Jin Kong continues to teach today. Not only his lectures relate to Buddhism, but also to teachings of other religions, including on moral values, ethics, and life itself. In 1998, he started lecturing on the Avatasamkha Sutra, a Buddhist sutra of great volume that contains the most profound and extensive teachings of the Buddha. With four hours of lecturing a day, Master has now completed over 2,500 hours, and he has only covered one-tenth of the volume. Today, viewers around the world can listen to his lectures through internet and satellite television. Every lecture is available on the internet for learners to download. With no copyright to all his works, books, audio and video cassettes, and various compact discs are distributed worldwide at no cost. Books on the teachings of great sages were also printed and circulated throughout the world. Over a thousand sets of great Buddhist canon, comprising over 150 volumes, were given to all major libraries, universities, and Buddhist organizations around the world. Since 1977, Master Jin Kong has begun to accept invitations to lecture abroad. Over the past several decades, there has been more than 120 Amitabha Buddhist societies established, and they all regard Master as their spiritual advisor. In 1995, under the guidance of Master Jin Kong, Singapore Buddhist Lodge and the Amitabha Buddhist Society of Singapore jointly established Buddhist lectures training programs. In 2001, the Pure Land Learning College Association was established in Toowoomba, Australia as another training ground for cultivating Buddhism. In 1998, Master Jin Kong initiated communication and cooperation among the nine different religious groups in Singapore with successful results. The achievement was based on the affirmations and acceptance of two concepts of Master. First, the gods of all religions are manifestations of the same great power. Second, all religions are saints' education on love and compassion. Today in Singapore, the nine religions meet regularly to exchange ideas, 
and cooperate in all kinds of activities, such as charity dinner, fundraising, social visits, and so on. Through this exchange of ideas, they formed mutual understanding, respect, love, and tolerance for each other. They feel especially grateful and cherish the peace and harmony they achieved, where religious and racial conflicts are seen in other parts of the world. Master Jean Cole stressed, only the teachings of saints and sages can put an end to people's sufferings and bring true happiness and long-lasting stability to our lives. Charitable work is only a temporary solution. Therefore, since the year of 2000, Master Jin Kong started to encourage the nine religious groups in Singapore to take turns to lecture in the Singapore Buddhist Lodge. Through panels of discussion, they shared what they have learned from their religious scriptures and respond to questions that were raised. Through these activities, unity among different religious groups was fostered and the teachings of saints were valued. In every interview with the media, participations in discussion and speech, Master Jin Kong always put emphasis on the essence of multicultural social education. He strongly stresses the importance and necessity of reinstating ethics education of saints and sages. Master Jin Kong grew up in the difficult time of the World War II. And like many others of his time in China, his family was in poverty. And although thousands of his followers made continuous donations to him over the years, he does not seek a luxurious life. His heart to help and benefit all beings never changes. His support to the Catholic senior homes Muslims' fundraising activities, the erection of monuments for the aboriginals, and donations of food and clothes to the needed and disaster areas are just a few of his many contributions. Beliefs and take on other sufferings as his own, he taught how the Buddhist teachings of unconditional love and compassion is applied to life through his own example. Master Jin Kong believes that the future work of promoting sages education relies on the younger generation. As a result, he expressed his great concern for their education. In the past 10 years, he sponsored scholarships to help students from low-income families complete their education. He sponsored the multicultural educational program in the University of Queensland and Griffith University in Australia, established funds for scholarships at the University of Southern Queensland, and most recent at the Muslim University in Indonesia. By helping younger generations to accomplish higher education, the future of our world will be in better hands. Master Jin Kong tells people, learn to be a good teacher and to act as a role model. He keeps this mindset as he carries out his mission. And no matter where he is, he always makes every effort to unite different groups, to help to stabilize the society and to elevate the moral standards. 
In 1985, Master Jean Cole moved to the United States and subsequently awarded the title of Honorary Citizen. And after two years of moving to Australia in the year of 2000, he was also awarded honorary titles by the universities and government to honor his contributions in multicultural education and in religious unity. In recent years, Master Jin Kong has been invited for several times to attend international peace conferences as a representative of Griffith University. In the conferences, he met with religious leaders and scholars from all over the world to discuss solutions to conflicts among people. Master indicated that one has to first resolve his inner conflicts in order to dissolve outside conflicts and to eventually achieve world peace. With his wisdom, broad-mindedness, and sense of humor, Master gained broad admiration and respect in various meetings he attends, whether it was with peace specialists in the United Nations Conference, scholars from universities, and the youth and the discussion panels of Asian Pacific regions. People were inspired by Master's brilliant views and unexpected answers. Although people nowadays are immersed in a materialistic life, the threat of terrorism, disasters, and epidemic diseases still frightens them. As a result, they long for peace and social stability. More and more people realize the importance of Master Jin Kong's teachings when he advanced the idea of universal harmony and war entity. In recent years, he has been traveling in Australia, Indonesia, and many other Asian countries, attending international peace conferences and promoting multicultural education. However, as soon as he returned from these trips, he resumes his lectures and he never takes a rest. Master truly has set a good example for all people to follow and carries out the well-known Buddhist saying, never seek comfort for yourself, but only wish others be free from sufferings. After more than 50 years of practicing Buddhism, Master Jin Kong has summarized the Buddhist teachings into 10 principles. Sincerity, purity of mind, equality, proper understanding, compassion, seeing the truth, let go, Attain freedom of mind and spirit in accord with all conditions and being mindful of Buddha Amitabha. These 10 principles are the core of all Master Jin Kong's lectures. Sages' teachings are the standards. 
as Master has long realized and has been emphasizing all along. The only key to world peace and human happiness is education. The education of morality and ethics, and the education of compassion and kindness from all sages and virtuous people. Throughout his life, Master Jin Kong has been through many difficulties and obstacles. However, he always lives with a grateful heart, as he teaches us. He did prove what his teacher, Professor Dong Mei Fong, once promised him. Nothing can bring greater enjoyment to life than Buddhism. Moreover, he now stays in this greatest enjoyment in each and every moment of his life because he has become one with the universe. His life mission is to bring to all beings the teachings of love and compassion and to enjoy the universal harmony and world peace with all living beings. This mission is the same mission of all sages. As long as we set our minds, this mission can be ours.